Hi folks, this is Mal and welcome back. This is Endless Space Disharmony. And as promised, I've started a new series, so this will be Series 2. And let me take you through a quick setup here uh, before we jump in. Um, I've kept basically what I had in my, in my first playthrough. Uh, I did change my affinity. I'm going to go with the Sour Affinity or Sower Affinity. Um, this was a suggestion from one of my subscribers who usually gives me great advice, so I'm going to give this a whirl. Um, I've never used it before, so I'm kind of interested. And then as you can see, I've got Optimal Structure, Dust Arcology. I, I take Dust Arcology so I can get a hero right away. Um, I've got Headhunter Administrator, and I've also got Headhunter Pilot, so I want to get those heroes hopefully in the mix right away. A couple levels of scientists for extra research, deadly weapons. I took sloppy sawbones for extra points because, you know, my hope is that my heroes don't get hurt, so I'm not too concerned about it. And then I took, I had a couple extra points left over, so I took stellar guardians plus two influence. I thought, you know, early on this might be helpful. We'll see. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not entirely sure that this really matters, but. Yeah, like I said, we'll give it a try. I'm going to go with Galactic Ring. Um, I, th I, I think this will make for some interesting play. Uh, let's see. Eight Empires, as you can see here. Basically picked one of each one and threw them in the game, including the uh, the new race, the Harmony. Uh, I did set it on Endless difficulty. I've never played on Endless. Uh, I've played on Impossible, and obviously you've seen me play on Sirius. Sirius was um, not really challenging enough. I mean, I really wasn't even focusing all that well. Uh, and it got to the point where I was pretty much steamrolling the AI. Uh, I've played on Impossible, and I've lost before. And my guess is that Endless will give me a pretty good challenge. I set the game speed... Uh, normally I play on fast, but I set it back to normal. And then for advanced options, the only thing I really changed was... Uh, let's see... I, I I put it on no pirates, because pirates, quite frankly, just annoy the hell out of me. So I turned them off. Uh, and then... I'm kind of debating here. Let's see, Supreme Victory is what? Powerful Vessels, yep, 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 yep. When this victory, when you have invaded, the starting systems of all locations. Okay, now that one I like. Um, expansion victories when you, when you what, own 75%? Yep. Okay. Economic victory. Once you've generated enough dust during the development of your the victory is yours. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to turn that one off. Um, political force. I, th I think I'm going to turn off some of these. I'm going to turn, like, Wonder Victory. Yeah, let's turn that off. So we'll have Supremacy Victory available, Scientific Victory, which, you know, I have lost a game before from the AI getting this, so... Could happen. Um, diplomatic Victory and Expansion Victory. I think I think that's good. So we get rid of Pirates. We get rid of a couple of these other options that could lead us to end the playthrough prematurely, which we don't want. Okay, I think that's uh, I think that's it on, uh, let's see, Galaxy Ring Type, Aegis Normal, uh, oh, under Advanced here, I put no system balancing, so that'll be random. Um, medium Density here for the Galaxy, uh, Unique Constellations, it's essentially like just one big, you know, blob. <laughs> uh, average Number of Wormholes, I guess I could make that low to try to... Yeah, let's try to create some more conflict points by doing that. Uh, random planet sizes, random number for system, resources are on normal. I even considered putting this on low to make resources even tougher to get to. Kind of makes you have to make deals with the AI or go after them or what have you, but I thought, eh, playing on endless, kind of making it tough enough for myself. All right, so let's jump in. Alright, so, okay, yes, let's go check out our heroes, see what's available. Okay, corporate, 
Okay, so we have an administrator available. All right, well, we're taking him. Sign to system, so we know we're doing that. Mm-hmm, and then corporate pilot, corporate pilot. Okay, so we, we sort of got what we wanted there, so that's good. Let's back out. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, galactic ring, right? Just a big old ring of systems around a black hole. That's neat. Okay, so... No, no, no. I don't want you to set anything here. Well, potentially have a good... Potentially have a really good production value out of my initial system. Let's go ahead and set an exploitation. Oh, okay. Not much else to do there, is there? Dismiss these. Let's take a look at our research. All right, so let's go through the basics here. We know that we're gonna want heavy isotope refineries. And what's in our system here? Lava. Okay. It's pretty far down, I think. Yeah, it sure is. It's really far down. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Do we have... Man, we kind of got, got a little bit hose here on the main system, didn't we? At least initially. Tundra... Arid... We need this... Okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll grab isotope refineries and we'll grab private partnerships for the research. And we might as well grab, actually, let's do this. Let's grab industry, food, research, like so. And... Yeah, let's go like that. So those are sort of the basics, right? We'll grab industry boost, food boost, research boost, and then essentially, a, you know, economic increase, right? And we'll start searching here. Let's actually, let's go adjust our tax rate here. Down a couple of notches. Yeah, we can go down to, yeah, 25% is fine. That'll work. Okay, so this thing, a factory, I guess, is what we're calling our cedar ships. Let's go check this out. And then we have a scout. Send it out over here. And I don't think there's anything else for us to do this turn. Plus three experience, okay. Plus ten production on system for ten turns. Okay, that's cool. Here, let's go ahead and get another ship in the... Uh, Q there. What do we got over here? Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is really nice. Okay. Yeah, we need to get over here. Oh, this is nice as well. Well, you know what? We're already here. 
but we can't colonize. Okay, how quickly can we get... Let's see, Tundra or Arid? Tundra and Arid. Okay, so those are the first two that come up, and we can get to them relatively quickly. So we are going to change our plan here a little bit. We're going to keep this, but we're going to get rid of... Okay, we're going to go like this, and we're actually going to grab... What do we got here? Which systems, which planet's better? We want to grab, we really want to grab this Tundra planet first, right? So, we're going to go like this, and then we'll grab these. And we're going to go ahead and send this ship back. We're going to send this ship here. gonna push push through a couple of turns here what do we got here oh okay Argura housed the greatest site of study of xenobiology ever created by the genius of the endless charming achievement of the industry and science the surface and crust of the planet were a warrant of laboratories biospheres and research centers when the bombs fell during the dust wars and essentially became the greatest expanse of ruins Okay. Should that ever be repaired, that cover the scientific would be unimaginable. Oh, oh, so this is the, like, super duper planet, huh? Right here. So this barren. kind of. Cr crap planet is like the best planet you can get, huh? I guess one thing I don't get is that it says that it's... Oh, it's the... Pl I get it. So this planet... I don't understand why it doesn't have that name. Like, okay, here's, you know, whatever, Argya or whatever it's called, but here it's... Let me zoom out and zoom back in. Cepheus. It's like, why does it have a different name? Not sure. Well, in any case, it looks like that's a... something potentially fortuitous for us, so that's good. That's cool. There's titanium here. Great. Okay, we're gonna slip heavy isotopic refineries in there real quick. Okay, familiar with space travel, exploration increases, more events and anomalies are registered, some of these are simply strokes of luck. Right. Okay. Go take a look at 
Empire factors. Sent him on to another system. Well, I will now. Okay, we'll go the traditional labor route with him. Increase production efficiency as much as possible. New colony ship, huh? Hey, hey, gotta like that. Tiny ocean with coral reefs. More strange fossils plus titanium. Robot locals. Wow, this system's pretty, pretty impressive, huh? Um, tempted to go here because of the food, but. Um, actually, that's what we will do, because we'll be able to colonize the other one very quickly. The one with titanium. Alright, so we'll colonize here and then just pop over. That was great! Let's go check out this one with the yellow sun. Potentially making us stronger and faster. <laughs> oh, you better get the reference. You better get the reference, people. Let's see. Plus one on desert. Plus one on tundra. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, that's cool. I got that for free. Sweet. Alright, what do we got over here? Mineral rich on a large lava. Wow. Okay. This could be, this could be pretty good right here, this little tundra planet. These two right here, or actually these three could be fine. And then we could pick these other ones up after we have uh, soil revivification or what have you. Mm-hmm, okay. How long till we can colonize this? Two turns, okay. Guess we're gonna have to raise taxes a little bit. We're falling behind. Okay, system. Let's set a exploitation. Let's grab isotopes and should keep them busy for a little while.
I feel like anytime this system shows up, I should say bridge two. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Mm Okay, so, exploration event, so that's permanent, okay, that's cool. All right, we gotta fix this money problem here. It's 50%, oh man, okay, yeah, that's not, that's not good. Okay, so we will grab we're gonna have to change our plan again, unfortunately. So let's start grabbing research next. Yeah, we'll have to grab this. It's okay. It's not not a problem. And we'll have. We're not gonna have the ability to. colonizing that system for a little while, right? Because we're only going to pick up Tundra or advance to Arctic. Either way, so we might as well just go ahead and explore forward. Okay. Jeez, 75% tax. Well, that's how we're going to have to go for now. Oh boy. Let's see if we can potentially do something. We really can't do anything with them. So we'll be in a state of Cold War until we can get some kind of relations technology. Okay, so be it. Their home system is right there. And they've already got the ability to go to war. Wow. Okay, well, we'll definitely be retreating. Oh, everybody's having a party over here. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to lock this down pretty quick, I think. And move to uh We're gonna have to move to building warships here pretty quick. Either that or I think this will end up this is going to end up going badly for us. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so, wow. His capital and his capital right there, huh? That makes this pretty strategically important, but I'd almost be like, go ahead and have it. So that makes this system that we already have extremely important. Especially in terms of uh, a sphere of influence, right? Because if we can get the sphere of influence over this system, keep it from being falling into their hands, or this one, yeah. Let's go check out the other direction. I thought I thought maybe you know that I had set it to where this was going to be you know sort of a bigger galaxy, but. I guess they didn't account for the fact that there's eight, you know, there's eight of us, so we're kind of cramped in here. This this will get interesting really quickly, I think. Alright, can I bring the tax rate down at all? I can bring it down a little bit. Jeez. They are pissed, as they should be. Good lord. Four more turns, huh? All right. You know what I think I should do? Is stop building this. Switch to dust conversion. And lower my taxes. Yeah. Good call. At least for the short term, right? This allows us to build up some money. Yeah, and at the same time not have everyone pissed off. Yeah, we're going to go grab this Terran world right now. I don't see any reason not to do that. Okay, let's see. We've got... Man, this is one hell of a run here between these two systems. And I guess we need to grab this thing as soon as we can, too. Okay. Grab this next, and then go hmm. Barons all the way down here. Arctic. I think it's going to be our next most important, right? Depends on what we find way out here, I guess, ultimately. Okay, we're okay. Dust water, blue cat.
Okay, so this system, or these systems, I think would be a better way to say it, are not very good, but from a strategic standpoint, you know, closing off one of these, at least right now, might, might be a good idea, and then defending it. Okay, let's do this. Let's grab Xeno Tours, Sustainable Farms, and then let's go ahead and colonize this ocean world here. Okay, then your job is going to be to grab... Yeah. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look at our... Okay, Cold War neutral across the board. Definitely don't want to go to war with them. Okay, so I just want to try to maintain neutrality with these guys for now. Don't want to antagonize them. I'm going to pull back to here. Alright, so I... Th Think, think being, uh oh, harmony, huh? These guys just want to kill everybody right away? I've never played against them, so I don't know. Stable, huh? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me set research here. Okay, we'll grab Arid. And we'll grab... I want to be able to actually do something with these people. Yeah, let's, let's do this so we can get some... Some kind of uh, trade and whatnot going. Where's the... I never can remember where the open borders are. Is it over here? Yeah, cooperation agreement. Okay. Alright, so we'll grab this and this. We've already got some basic weapons tech that we got for free. That was nice. And... All right, we'll leave it like that for now. And I think I'll go ahead and wrap up episode one right here. I think we're, I don't want to say we're in great shape, but it seems like we're doing okay. Once these Xenotourism agencies finish, my hope is that dust will balance out. And I'm, I'm not sure, but I think maybe I should start building some kind of a little fleet to protect myself. I mean, it's only turn 20, but having never played on Endless before, I don't know how aggressive they get. My guess is fairly. So, we'll see. But until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.